here at Racket Lake, South Bay, at the Golden Beach Campground. I had to think about that. So we just arrived today, about 8.15, it's a couple hours later. Just chilling by the fire, it's really a pretty lake. Saw the end of the sunset. Here are a bunch of loons. It's very, very quiet. People are around us, but you can't hear anybody. So far, so good. In August 2023, we headed up to the Adirondack Mountains for a nice five-day, four-night adventure. Nestled in northeastern New York, this diverse region is a natural playground and an absolute paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. For us, over our five days and four nights, we were able to explore three different lakes, Racket Lake, Indian Lake, and Blue Mountain Lake. We immersed ourselves in the breathtaking beauty of this wilderness. We hiked up to overlooks with panoramic views, watched lightning storms, paddled crystal clear waters, and camped on the banks of beautiful lakes. We were able to experience a small sample of what this area has to offer. We put this trip together in just 10 days, which forced us to be a little creative with our camping options. But even with that limited research, we were able to find three beautiful lakes that we could camp along. It's day two. We are leaving Racket Lake to begin our scenic drive to Indian Lake Island. On our journey to Indian Lake, passing through Blue Mountain Lake, we came across Chef Daryl's Mountain Diner, a traditional diner with fantastic homemade comfort food. We enjoyed brunch and waited out the heavy rain before heading on our way to Indian Lake. Indian Lake Islands offers 54 boat in only sites. For non New Yorkers, the sites are around $30 a night and they book up months in advance. These forested islands offer some great primitive wilderness camping spots. Here we are on Thursday, August 3rd, ready to start our adventure at Indian Lake. We're gonna head over to, what's site 31? Yeah. Should be a little bit less than a mile. It was raining earlier and it is just gorgeous now. Get to our site, get set up, and then go explore the inlet. It's gonna be a great day. We're so excited! And it's a beautiful day. You can see a picture of the raccoon prints. You can see a little raccoon buddy had fun at the camp last night and cut some paw prints on it. <laughs> and we're off. Another journey with my raccoon printed board. With one or two uh, bags on your board, not loaded <laughs> down at all. Cool, is it gonna be?
So we're almost at Long Island, where we're gonna turn into the bend and go towards John Mack Bay. We're about 1.75 from the launch. It's getting a little windy, but still very beautiful. The wind's at our backs, so it's nice today. But when we come out tomorrow, probably gonna be cursing the wind. Oh God, what if that's not it? <laughs> Might be the next one. We thought this bay was the turn in. It is not. We gotta go more. That's definitely, yeah, oh yeah, definitely after the next one. For sure. carry behind me the beautiful mountains the sun shining down on all of it beautiful day but it is getting choppy <laughs> speed boats are picking up yeah It is like a roller coaster. This is where we turn into our bay. Oh, if this has campsite 39 on it, you would have such a beautiful view of the sunset. I hope so. And then in the distance, is finally Long Island. We're just passing a little inlet that goes all the way down and has all the, the 50s campsites. So I'll give you a look at 40 as we go by it and continue on our way to 30. So like the other ones, there's a little beach up to the campsites and 40 has a cool giant bottom of a dead tree. so beautiful. It looks like it goes on for so long. There's camping spot 33. Nice little beach with the chairs, rocks in front of it, just across from 40. The sun, mountains in the background. Wind and waves have picked up since coming into John Mack Bay. There's campsite 26 on the horizon next to Cary. Looks like it has a large beach. And then to the right with the white and blue tent is 27. And then the view behind is just spectacular. Can't beat it. There's campsite 26 with all the people, a very large beach spot, some loons going crazy because I'm near them. Baby, sorry, Mr. Loons. And the ferry is right next to the little island with 28 on it. So you can see that I'm right next to the end of the island that holds 28. You can see a little canoe up there, and then 29 on the hill. Side. 
so you can just see how much stuff is on carry for. <laughs> we loaded these things up. <laughs> yes. I'm guessing that little uh, beach outcropping in front of us is number 31. <laughs> it's that point of paddling when you're like, I'm done. Like, I get it. We're going to be two and a half hours. I'm good. The last hour was <laughs> my, my knees are burning. But we can paddle 30 miles and be like, fine. And then you hit mile 28 and then it's like, I'm good. Like, no. Or you can paddle four miles and like, Oh, you're three miles in. No, I'm good. I, I'm, I get it. I'm done. Took uh, a little over two hours and just under four miles to get here. Lots of wind, but we're here. We're not supposed to get rain in for another three, four hours. So hopefully that holds off until we get the tarps up and There's 31. We made it. Clear beach, sandy, oh, yeah. rock park. And done. Here's a little quick little walk around campsite 31 where we're calling home tonight. Nice little rock steps up. Some flat spots. Beautiful view of the lake. Carrie setting up our drinks. You can see our tarp with all the stuff that we had on our boards. There's what? Six, seven, eight thousand pounds of stuff? <laughs> So, all the essentials. Picnic bench. Nice fire pit. And the best part is the view. Well, the nice view of sunset. Tons of flat spots. Mountains in the background. And then we have not one but two privies back there we so can go to the at the same time. I, I know love it. it's wonderful we're gonna get our drinks together and we're gonna have a nice night watch sunset yep. have some steaks have steaks some wine yeah. get a bath in a cute little lagoon yeah sleep under the stars under these pine trees we'll see if we have any bear friends tonight oh geez or storms maybe or storms. storms later but so it's a storm later so that should be a fun video it always rains where we go so it's guaranteed Friday, August 4th, 8 a.m. Checkout is at 11, but another storm just passed us, so I don't know if we're gonna make that. Here we are at the campsite. Stormed all night. We had a nice spot under the tree. The tarp above us. This little stand, whoever made that, 
You're awesome. <laughs> we were gonna leave at 8 a.m. But it started thundering and lightning, so that plan's on hold for right now. So let's see what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're leaving our campsite, the wonderful 31. Third day of our adventure. Heading out of John Mack Bay. Back to the boat launch. Should take around two hours and just under four miles. Starting off at 10 a.m. Got a little bit later start than we wanted because of some storms. So hopefully the rain and thunder and lightning will hold off long enough for us to get back. Been raining all morning and most of the night last night. So hopefully we can get there and get lucky and find a spot. If not, we're gonna head to Cuyahoga Camping Ground on Rocket Lake. See if we can get lucky getting the spot there. There was a few, you have to order those ones online. And there was a few available last night. So check out Blue Mountain. Hopefully we get lucky. Shooting to get number one or number three. One would be best. But we'll see. Coming up on the end, we made it back without it storming on us. It was a little bit faster, just under two hours. It was a little bit calmer in the lake on the way back. But now we're on our way to Blue Mountain Lake. Hopefully get one of those six spots. So here we are at Blue Mountain Lake, standing in the lifeguard station. No one's at the beach today. And I'm setting up repacking and staging for our final leg. Matt went out a couple hours ago to scope out one of the primitive spots on the island and luckily we've been able to communicate. Good cell phone coverage here. And in the middle of it all, a storm came. Lightning, thunder, <laughs> torrential rain. And he was out there beyond those islands there looking and Thankfully, he was able to find a spot for us on Osprey Island. And there's Matt coming back after a long two hours of paddle. There's the bathroom right next to the Blue Mountain Lake Fire Department. There's parking along the road, like 10 spots. But the public access is this little beach area. So they'll load up and you'll come over to the kiosk register boom boom open up throw your name throw your name address telephone number of group where you're staying starting off on our adventure it's around 5 30. nice we got here around 1.30 and I went out first to scout the six spots on the lake because it's first come first serve. So I went out first, it's a mile to Long Island from the launch. Uh, just took a little bit longer because there were so many lightning and thunderstorms. So that delayed everything. I went past the four on Long Island. One is really nice, it's on the edge on the far left. Two is back in the forest. I didn't really like it. it. Didn't seem well kept. I have a video of that. Three seem really nice and four seem nice. We're gonna stay the night at number five on Osprey Island. So you guys will get a good look at that. It's about a little over a mile from the launch to number five. So let's go. How long is he? Just keep going.
going into number five, you can see the tarp that I put in. That was no one else to use our spot. Coming up on camp spot number five on Osprey Island. You get this entire island to yourself if you get this one. You have a nice flat spot up top. You could probably have a group, of maybe two, three tents up here. Uh, here's a nice big fire pit. Someone was cool enough to put a board across there so you have a bench or somewhere to put your food if you're preparing it. A few grill tops up there for you to use. Privy is down the hill with a nice view out to the lake while you're taking your business. And there is a ton of firewood all around you because there's so many fallen trees on this island. And number five gets it all. There's a little public beach, maybe 100, 200 yards on the other side of the island. And you get a view of sunrise. No view of sunset though, so that kind of sucks, but it's a beautiful sight. I don't think I'm going to get to see sunrise through this fog. It's day four of our adventure. We're on Blue Mountain Lake. We're going to head up to the Castle Rock Trailhead. Do that should be around, what, three, four miles round trip for that? Yeah, a few overlooks, some caves, so we'll check that out. Come back, and then go around, look at all the islands. So, should be a nice, relaxing, easy day. Hopefully no more rain. Put all the tarps up for a lot of rain last night and got none. <laughs> Whatever, it happens. But you can see campsite five, a lot of room for tarps and tents, some flat, nice little bench over there. Turned out to be a pretty nice spot. Let's get our butts on the water. Let's do it. This video is just gonna be me scratching. <laughs> this video is just gonna be me, like 90% of it, just Stop scratching, scratching all my mosquito bites. Stop There's scratching. so many. I thought it was gonna be the black flies that got us up here. No, mosquitoes. No, they're done, because you researched that. Yeah, we missed the black fly <laughs> season. Got the mosquito season now. That's I fun. think mosquitoes are probably better than a black fly. Yeah, I agree. Camp's all ready. Now we're going down to the water. It's our trail to the beach. Got all our stuff ready. Check out our cute little beach. Water is crystal clear. I don't know if the video picks it up, but. Crystal clear mountain water. Okay, we're off. Oh, that's windy. Oh, I was saying. <laughs> so can we have one day of, of no uh Force wind. So we got Long Island in front of us, and just to our right, on the southwest side of Osprey Island, is a little picnic area for day use. We have a little beach, some rocks for tanning. There's a fire pit behind there, and then about 30 yards back, there is a privy. I went to it yesterday. There's no toilet seat, and there's no toilet paper, so I'm prepared. It's shallow, but not too shallow for us to go through. Yeah, I came through here yesterday. Here's the large open part of Blue Mountain Lake. The corner of this little peninsula is private land. It looks super cool. Wish I was public land. We can get on top of there for lunch. But we're headed to Castle Rock. It's just off ahead. There's a whole bunch of kayakers and canoes there. 
So hopefully that is the spot. Leave our stuff there and hike up the three, four miles. And then I can see some rock cliffs to the left. I think that's where number six camping spot is. We'll check that out on our way back. I mean, unless I totally read the map wrong, which is a possibility. So we finished our paddle. It was around a little over a mile. Threw our paddle boards up there. Starting a nice Castle Rock Trail. Should be a four miles round trip. The way we've been doing things should take about eight hours. <laughs> Starts off with a nice babbling creek on the left. And then it looks like it goes straight up. This is so much fun. Right. Like from lake to land. Brought our hiking shoes. This is a nice lake where you can do paddling and hiking. We're coming up to a trailhead. We got Castle Rock to the left and trailhead to the right. There's yellow foothills. Go up and up. No, I said it was all straight uphill. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. A rock wall. I bet we're climbing to the top of that. We're only about 0.7 up from the lake trailhead, and we're passing through all these beautiful rock boulders. This is awesome. These boulders themselves make the hike worth it. Uh, don't fall down. Graceful like a cat. Amazing. There's a confusing spot somewhere. Trailhead, trailhead. Arrow down. And foot trail that way. And that says to the top. I think we go this way. Oh, somebody wrote top. Yeah. Because that's a confusing turn I read about. Where people accidentally go that way and they go back down. <laughs> this is a boulder scramble. Look at that. Okay. 30 feet straight up. Here we go. There's some overlooks that have elevation and it's not beautiful on the way up. I think this is very beautiful on the way up. So while it might be hard and oh. straight up, I mean the rocks and the trees and oh. it's worth it. It's beautiful. Check this out.
not bad. <laughs> it's just all the mountains around, all the way around. And you can hear the boats, and you can see our island, and where my car is. <laughs> All right, we just finished the Castle Rock Trail. That was an awesome trail. It was only one mile straight up. If you do from the trailhead park with the parking lot, it's four miles round trip. But from the lake, it's only two miles round trip. Beautiful trail on the way up. There's giant boulders. Took like 40 minutes up, 30 minutes down. Stayed at the Vista for 45 minutes having lunch. Now we're just crossing Blue Mountain back to our campsite. Might stop off at the other campsites to give them a look. In the background is the Blue Mountain with the fire tower, I think. Coming up on campsite number one on the far left of the island. Looks pretty open and it has an amazing view of sunset. They're only like four feet off the lake and we're like 30 feet up. Yeah. Are we going to two? We can. Here's number two. Plus it's like 30 or 40 yards back. In the woods. I don't recommend going to two. It's just not nice. If it's your only option, fine, but I wouldn't. Here's two. It's in the forest. You gotta walk like 30, 40 yards. And big fire pit. I just, just don't see any flat parts, really. Passing number three. Looks like multiple tent spots. Doesn't look like a beach in front of this one either. On the eastern side of Long Island, number four. Yeah, I saw a few tents up there. No beach, but slanting rock up to it. Yeah, I better like that. That's an Ona, I think. Yeah, you have to go up like 15, 20 feet just to get to the campsite. Yeah. Yeah. So many flies on my board. They weren't here all weekend. Just went past one, one through four on Long Island. I think one's the best site. Looks flat, best, best view of sunset. As I get bit by flies, so many flies. There's no flies in camp, but there's a million mosquitoes in camp and, and a thousand flies when we get on the water. But beautiful lake. Definitely a, a good weekend lake where you can hike from it, chill on the lake. As we paddle back to camp, sunset behind us. Done paddling for the day. Right 
right in front. There's a nice little sandy beach up to it. So I was a big old dummy and I tried to come down and get sunset from the log and I fell into the water fully clothed. So at least now I'll be able to come up farther and get sunset. I'm an idiot. But at least sunset's worth it. Look at that. For this view, whatever. This lake is gorgeous. And the biting mosquitoes, the flies, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. All packed up and back to the launch, and then making our way back to Pittsburgh. Nice seven and a half hour drive. Wonderful four or five days in the Adirondacks. You realize coming up here, you're just, a week is just scratching the surface of everything that's up here. We were gonna try to hit up Niagara Falls on our way back, but that's an extra two hours to our drive. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, probably not. Our last day of a five day vacation and what a trip we made a kind of a couple weeks ago decided maybe we want to go to the Adirondacks did a little research and discovered that there's so much to see and do what could we do in five days and we ended up with a pretty awesome trip starting with drove into Racket Lake and we got right on the South Bay have Racket Lake at Golden Beach Campgrounds. Left the next morning and started pouring down rain. We went to a cool little diner in Blue Mountain. It was Chef Darrell's Mountain Diner. It's really, really good. Got the rain out of the way and then we proceeded to Indian Lake. It's about 45 minute drive from Blue Mountain Lake. There's 55 campsites to reserve and they're all boat in. Some are pretty far up the lake. We picked the spot it was on the lower end, but still took a couple out, two and a, about two and a half hours to paddle to on our paddleboard. So that was a fun night, and we would have stayed there for days if there was availability, but there was not. Had a big thunderstorm come through overnight, and then again in the morning, delayed us, but we were on our way to Mountain Lake, and we decided we would take campsite number five on Osprey Island. Got in in the evening, late afternoon, and we have Osprey Island all to ourselves for two nights. Views of the mountains and the lake between the trees. Massive spot. Just an incredible place to camp for two nights. And then we had a whole day to explore Blue Mountain Lake. We paddled to the Castle Rock Trailhead brought our hiking shoes, climbed a mountain, <laughs> and had a beer at the top of the lookout where you approach the lookout and you can see for miles just these beautiful mountains in the Adirondacks and you look out over Blue Mountain Lake and you can see all the islands and people boating. And... Well, what a place. I would come back here in a heartbeat and explore. I think there's just so many different lakes, so many mountains to climb. And it's just so quaint and quiet and beautiful here. So I am sad to leave, but all trips come to an end. Until the next next adventure. I don't know, I got a good thing. A little bit of weight on it. <laughs> all of our camping gear. <laughs> Take it nice and easy. Definitely. I'm going to have some lemonade when we get to the car. <laughs>